Hello traders and welcome to our market update video. It's still not on here, founder of Master of the Markets, Illiterate Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are on the 7th of Feb on the market update. So what are we looking at? Before we look at our trade performance and the trades for the week so far, I'm just going to cover one topic. Okay, it's a very, very important topic, very useful. So listen up. So three price stats that I want to share with you. Okay, three price statistics that I want to share with you that will be useful for any any kind of trading uh, let it be uh, day trading end of day trading position trading or even if you're using indicators uh, for your kind of trading whatever it is this three price stats can be very very useful for you now before I share these three price stats uh, the question which should be arising at you at any point of time when you're looking at the markets where these three price stats can help is when you look at this green bar or any bar at all, or red bar or whatever it is, the question that you want to ask yourself is, is it going to carry on in that move by the bottom holding or is it going to turn with it forming a high? These are the only two questions that you're going to continue to ask. Is it going to carry on to be a momentum move? Is it going to carry on to be a momentum move? Or is it going to revert? Now, of course, to answer these two questions, you must know at which point would you call it a reversion? And how would you call it a momentum move? Over here, we will call it a reversion when the high or the low is confirmed. Okay. Now we'll call it a momentum move if it does not revert and in this case does not form a high. Okay. That's what we would do. Now, based on these two concepts, these three price statistics will help you. The first price statistics that will really, really help you is what we call a potential swing bar statistics. Now we cover this in the live trading webinar. So for those of you who have not come on to it or would like to come on to it again, highly recommend it. It happens every month. So highly, highly come over to it and there'll be a link shared with you to register for it too. Now the PSWB is basically a mid-range bar that closes above its mid-range. We'll go through much more in detail in the live trading webinar. Now, what we have found from our statistics is that 70%, 70% of this first PSWBs do not confirm. 70%, 70% of them do not confirm. Okay, They go on to carry on to be a momentum move a momentum move. So for therefore, if you see a red bar here, uh, it will still carry on to go further up. Okay, so that's what we are saying, right? So that's the first point. Now let me also show you the all the research collation we have done. So we have done with this with total swings of 1264 swings and we have seen that number of first PSWBs that confirm the swing is only 30.78. That means 70% do not confirm reversion and therefore to confirm then reversion, the reversion meaning must be then quantified. So you see there's a lot of factors before you can get your stats uh, really validated. Now the second price stats that be very very helpful for you in terms of momentum and reversion questions is the primary failure study. Okay, is what we have done as well. Now a primary is something that takes out the previous day's high is what we have defined it as. Now how many phases before primary failure um, turn? Okay, turn. That means become a reversion. That means for example, after you got your first primary, it fails, you took out the low, and then after that, how many of them carry on to confirm? How many of them carry on to confirm after the first, after one primary failure? Now what we found out is 65% of them carry on to confirm. So there's something else you can look into. Now the third thing, traders, is 
open equity now open equity unfortunately most traders retail traders sometimes even institutional traders do not understand this but they're just trading without even understanding it now open equity basically refers to the point of entry to the maximum point reached now for to actually decipher the stats you need to know the swing distance okay bottom to top bottom to top over here and top to bottom over here okay these two stats you must know now based on that stats what we have found is what other traders also start to confirm with us is that 55 percent 55 percent of swing moves turn after 380r move okay 55 percent of swing moves turn after a 380r move what i mean by that is that once they have move the distance of 380R from the swing bar to here, then there's a higher probability that they will start to turn. 55% of them will start to turn. So for example, how can this stats be useful? In the sense of momentum. Now, if I find something which is less than 380R, I can then say, according to my stats validation, that more than 60-70% of them will carry on uh, to move in my direction in a momentum move. That means it won't revert. It will move in a momentum move. Okay. So these are the three price stats that I will tell you all to reflect on. Now, just based on that, you can see over here all the stats validation that we have done over here. Look at this, right? So, for example, you can see over here all this is all the open equity studies that we have done based on just pips alone and then we carry on to do it by validating with days and weeks and days and everything right so price distance bars trending bars so many ways you can validate the stats all right so just to recap on that three price stats that you should be looking into our PSWB stats which we go through in the live trading webinar highly invaluable the last trade that we caught on the live trading webinar went on to make over 6,500 pounds which was all recorded live and sent to you all too. So go into your inbox and check it. Primary failures, I went through the price stats for that as well. And finally, the third one is the OE statistics. Now, for any stats to validate itself, you need the law of numbers. Without that, this price stats won't uh, validate themselves. So law of numbers must come into play. And what we mean by law of numbers is that you know that a coin toss is 50-50, but just because you just toss it three times, it won't get to 50-50. You need to toss it a thousand times to get to 50-50 or even more. Okay, so that's what we mean by that. All right. Okay, so that's the three price stats. And if you want to learn more of that and how to apply in real time, then catch on to our live trading webinar that happens uh, every month and go and uh, click on the link below and then you can just start to see what are the dates that are available we look forward to seeing you at the live trading webinar and serving you to trade like a master okay great so now we move on to our market update um let's take a look at the markets today the dollar swiss um, is still carrying on dollar is still carrying on strong took out the last high I would say there is still a bit more larger move to the upside. Wait for a first interruption, then we can take it to the upside as well. Now we can see there's a first interruption over here in terms of dollar yen. You can see a primary interruption here, and we can then look to see and validate if you want to do take it towards a momentum side. We got the rules, so I'll be checking that. Cable, on the other hand, uh, there is still a top to bottom move over here, a little bit more open equity to the bottom side. Strong. Uh, momentum move on euro dollar strong out ever since the brexit ever since uh, uk got out of the euro zone aussie dollar on the other hand um, this is a primary failure as we were talking about this primary has come out taken out the low of that okay so that's what we are seeing over here okay and we got out of that for a small loss as well i'll show you all that later euro yen on the other hand still open equity a large more to the upside however this has reverted as of now so that's what we um will then be looking at a top to bottom move is still a downtrend at the moment okay that's what we are having over here next what else do we have bitcoin bitcoin is still on the upside 9747 going to ten thousand dollar mark Open equity towards the upside, showing a little bit of weakness over there. UK 
FTSE 100 on a downtrend. You can see first interruption here. Uh, it could uh, carry on with its momentum. Let me just quickly just check in terms of the ATR uh, over here. Let me just put it over here. Insert. Let me see. Um, we average true range. I'll just put it to 10. And we'll take a look over there. Let's see. Now, this one here is 105. How much is that? That is about 315. Yeah, it's done its 3 ATR mark. However, the momentum is quite high. So highly probably that could be a possibility of taking a momentum move. However, it's done 61.8. That's what I will be cautious of. Because usually sometimes at 61.8% levels, it doesn't uh, interrupt. It doesn't carry on the momentum. It, it, it uh, reverts immediately. Oil. Um, very, very long um, stretch to the downside. Uh, this could be a market exhaustion. I will still be a bit cautious uh, in terms of the low because price and time will still to come into play. I will see how this bar finishes off for today to start to see if this will revert and the low will confirm and the low will hold. Gold, um, you can see it's consolidating at this point over here. Open equity to the upside is exhausted. So I would say my best bet is still to the downside. Uh, we'll see how this comes out to play. Dow Jones, um, still, still, still uh, consolidating around this level on a 29,000 mark. Will it get a 30,000? Uh, time will tell. It's, it's hovering around here. First interruption here. Strong momentum to the upside. I will highly probably presume it for it to carry on into a momentum move and take out the high okay and take out the high that's what i'll be uh, looking at on a probability basis all right great so that's to do with the market update in terms of all the different markets currencies commodities indices now we move on to our trading floor performance so how did we fare for this week now let's see now on the elite room for this week no trade so we are flat on the elite room over here so flat no no trade so far. Still holding on to all our profits on the elite room over here. Now, second thing what we are then looking at is the live trading room. Now, in terms of the live trading room, what did we have? Now, live trading room, we had a primary, we had an MB money bars 3.0 system. Uh, we had a small loss over there, which is the Aussie dollar, a minus 0.29% over there. And the primary runners, uh, we did take on the two positions at 0.5% risk. And that took us out at 1%. So overall, we lost a small loss of minus 1.29%. Remember that you always keep your losses small and then your profits high. So you can see that last week, we did a very big one with 1.70% on the euro dollar six positions, which just made us over a little bit over 6,500 pounds. So that's how you play this game. You will get losses, but keep the losses small. That's the whole trick of it and make the runners overwrite the losses okay for that you must have your knowledge strong and your understanding strong of the markets and that's what we're here to do to help you trade uh, like a master just get you to get your conviction up and know what you're doing and how the market's playing itself around in terms of his market moves all right traders i guess that's pretty much that from me for today and as we always say till the next time stay disciplined follow your trading plan and keep trading like a master